to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, present the most important news of the day. Thursday, February 24th, 2022nd. President Luis Abinader will arrive this Sunday for his second accountability besieged by the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, aggravated by the geopolitical crisis in Ukraine, which is impacting the economy with runaway inflation of 8.7% and causing discontent in popular sectors. At least seven major promises made by President Luis Abinader in his first memoir presentation to the nation on February 27th of 2021 have suffered significant delays and wretches. Doctors and nurses have been living closely for two years the pain, anguish, despair, hopelessness, and hope with which COVID-19 marks those who suffer from it. The coronavirus came to establish an epidemiological surveillance system with specific controls and measures, a variety of samples to detect the virus in people, drugs that were initially considered successful and later withdrawn, and a series of consequences that represents deterioration in health. The health authorities agreed with the doctors to work together to continue promoting the vaccination of the third dose and the use of masks in close places of large crowds as protection measures against the coronavirus. The president of the Neighborhood Council of the Miraflores sector, Rosario Familia Sanchez, announced yesterday that the area is being slumped more and more every day, threatening the peace and good coexistence of the residents. President Luis Abinader led the act that started the work of the second phase of the storm and sanitary hospital of the Guajimia Ribbon in West Santo Domingo with an investment of $50 million and that will benefit approximately more than 350,000 people. The Ministry of Labor, through the National Salary Committee, approved a 26.1% increase in the minimum wage for workers of incorporated nonprofit association which provide health, education, and rehabilitation services for people with disabilities. The Cibao Home Builders and Promoters Association said yesterday that the disproportionate rise in the prices of cement and other construction materials is affecting the sector and many people who have had to stop works due to the high cost of the items. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.